A string of car break-ins has families in some Raleigh neighborhoods asking police for extra help. Our Kelly Kennedy spent the day checking out those concerns and joins us live from the Glenwood, Brooklyn neighborhood. Kelly. Some of the people I spoke with today say some of their neighbors have been victim to the crime spree multiple times. They say while well, the thieves usually break into the cars, take what they want and go on their way, they're worried that it could escalate and they want police to step up their patrols. A man who lives in the Five Points neighborhood says he caught the crooks in the act. He sent us this surveillance video of what appears to be a man trying to break into cars on his block. At first, we were seeing these about once a month, and it would be where someone's car was ransacked. Now we're seeing that it's happening about once a week or more often. This is one of the neighborhoods in Raleigh where people say car break-ins are a growing problem. We spoke with some people who live in the Glenwood, Brooklyn, and Five Points neighborhoods, and they say it's happening more and more regularly. Raleigh police tell me they're definitely seeing an increase in car break-ins in some neighborhoods, but they say in a lot of cases it's because people aren't locking their doors. Officers say to make sure you always keep your car door locked and also don't leave any valuables like your cell phone in your car. Their windows have been just either shot out or broken if they've been locked. So some neighbors choose not to lock their cars because they don't want to have to keep making these insurance claims. We spoke with one man who lives in a nearby neighborhood who had his car broken into and his iPad stolen. He asked not to be identified. There's a lot of break-ins pretty regularly. So I had an iPad that was in my workout bag that somebody had just you know, went into my car, I opened it up, took out the iPad. At the same night, two other cars had gotten broken into. Rachel Kincaid is the president of the Glenwood Brooklyn Neighborhood Association. She says they need more police presence in the neighborhood because it's no longer the safe place it was when she moved in eight years ago. We used to take walks all the time at night. Once the sun goes down, we're in. And that's not what a tight-knit community should feel like. Raleigh police tell me they arrested some juveniles this morning who they believe may be connected to some of the car burglar burglaries. Live in Raleigh, Kelly Kennedy, CBS North Carolina.